Oh god! Oh god, no! Do you have I'm gonna die! Epilepsy? No. <laughs> Do you have a history of Epic Pepsi? Japan Studio. I didn't... That's interesting. Yep. I never heard of them before Gravity Rush. Oh, they do Gravity what? Rush? Yeah. Huh. They did. They, they made this black screen here. Yeah. The Abyss. Welcome to uh, Let's Play Black wait, Screen. Wait, wait. Oh, it's it like, don't tell them you're going to ruin the surprise. <laughs> I mean, they clicked on the video. You can see the title. No, it's all asterisks. Oh, okay. <laughs> For the first five minutes of this release, we're going to asterisk out the title. We'll change it tomorrow. <laughs> Oh yeah, it doesn't even like have you choose a title yet. It like starts the story when you first open it up. There's a bunch of games that do that nowadays. Yeah. Wow, that is very overexposed. This was actually one of the first video games to use bloom lighting. Like a lot of, <laughs> you, can, <laughs> you can tell they're still figuring it out. <laughs> I actually really like Bloom, even though it's completely unnatural. But this is too much. Oh bloom. my god! This is this is like Orlando Bloom. This is like a Bloom transition. Am I supposed to be able to see that? Oh dear! <laughs> wow. Oh, there are letters in the way. Ico, that's the game we're playing, everybody. I'm the comic foil. Um, Patty. Yeah. And um, oh, now we get to make a new game. So neither of us have played this or even like seen gameplay of it. I haven't actually played any of the three games. I mean, I oh, I mean, I've played Shadow a little bit. Yeah. So, but like, not much. For those of you who don't know, this game was the first game created by Team Ico, who also made Shadow of the Colossus and apparently Gravity Rush now. Yeah, and uh, The Last Guardian. So Colossus, Last Guardian, and this are a trilogy, though they're not, like, directly connected. I'm not even really sure what the connection between them is, but I have played Shadow of the Colossus, and I'm a big fan. So I figured, like, nobody ever talks about the game that came before Shadow of the Colossus, so let's, let, let's do a Let's Play of it. Yeah! And I found it at my local GameStop. So I held my breath and walked into the GameStop and bought it as quickly as I could. You, I hope you didn't buy it used. I did buy it used. Oh. I love whenever I go into GameStop and they're like, oh, you could get this used instead. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I like to buy new. And then they just cringe and I'm like, I'm sorry, associate. I don't, I feel bad for you. Well, they don't have a lot of new PS3 games, unfortunately. No, not right now. But, um... Yeah, they... So this was originally on the PS2 in 2001, but um, was remastered for the PS3 in a collection along with Shadow of the Colossus. And not The Last Guardian, because I think this came out before the... Yeah. Get the Sword. Oh. Okay. Because I think um, this trilogy came out before Last Guardian, because Last Guardian was like in development hell for a very long time, apparently. You told me to get the sword, and then it didn't... Um... Maybe that's, like, the subtitle of the game. It's I Go Get the Sword. <laughs> I Go Get the Sword. That was originally going to be a series, but... I Go Get the Rifle. So, I think we're a prisoner. Like, our hands are tied together. Huh. Oh, this is... This is something. These games have this kind of architecture. So, um, the guy who made this and Colossus and Last Guardian... Um, his name is something Ueda, who's the main writer for it, and he was into minimalist storytelling. Oh, I can appreciate that. So, while it, like, evokes a feeling of a strong story, it doesn't give you details, it just gives you broad strokes of, like, characters and settings and stuff. Well, I kind of like that. That's actually one reason why I really like horror a lot, because, like, Well Done Horror has a lot of mystery, and, like, you don't really know what's going on, but, like, you know enough to be able to follow and, like, you know, be guided around yeah. a little bit. But there's still a lot of intrigue there, and it creates a very compelling, mysterious world. Do not be angry with us. This is f for the good of the village. village. Hmm. He... Are is we... He are dead? 
we might be powering the Matrix. There's a bunch of them. Huh. No, we did something bad. Uh-oh. He is holding that sword in a very weird way. Also, all of us have horns. Also, the wrist strength he must have had to keep that sword like level like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was thinking that too. Like, I wasn't dang, that, that, that like, would have like tilted down real hard. You'd think it would be like sagging, or like. Nah, it's like PS2 a sword physics. Does. Did this come out on PS2? Yeah, right. Unless it was like also strapped to his side, like how you did um, Falchion for your Crom. Yeah, how Crom does it. Yeah. No, he was definitely, like, holding it like yeah. that. Like, it, I mean, you can't see. This is kind of reminding me a little bit of, like, some of the dungeons in Zelda Twilight Princess. A little bit, yeah. Oh. Well, it looks like that one was a dud. We've hatched. Oh, God. Oh, this one's a shitty nature. Throw it away. <laughs> They are giant stone eggs. And we laid there all night. There's like... It started raining inside. There's like a film grain over it. That's kind of... That's cool. I'm fine with that. The Evil Thin had a film grain over the entire game. Including the gameplay. Actually, a handful of games do that nowadays. Like, they had a film grain. I mean, it's usually toggleable, but... Now, I don't remember if his name is Iko, or if he's just... The boy. All I know about the series is Agro! <laughs> Agro! Oh, that's like, that's creepy looking. And it's like dripping too. That's really. Mm. It's dripping darkness. That's a weird bird. Oh. Oh, Shadow! Bad touch shadows. Into the shadow plane. The, these games also, if this is anything like Shadow of the Colossus, it has a lot of like, what is going on moments. And it's kind of like up for interpretation. All right. Okay. So we can do 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 do. Is that the guy from Shadow, is that the kid from Shadow of the Colossus? Uh, that is up for debate. Shadow of the Colossus, I'll tell you right now, though, is a prequel to this. Oh. So. Okay. Um, can I interact? I can jump. That's I an can, interesting jump. Can I, like, jump onto the switch? Um, try a different button. Okay. X doesn't seem to do anything. Circle. Okay, circle. Circle did the switch. Circle gets the square. Press the circle button to grab switches. <laughs> Thanks, Omo Chow. <laughs> if I press the square, I like do this weird Ico. stumble. <laughs> I go press the circle button <laughs> to grab onto hooks. This game would be so much better if there was a voice telling me what to do. Like Bentley. Yeah. Bentles. I don't like the look of that girl up there. Yeah, you do the voice way better than me. <laughs> Okay, so I gotta jump. Okay, if you, oh. if you jump while you're next to something, you'll climb it. I've been playing so many games where jumping just is not an option lately that, like, I see a ledge and I immediately am like, well, can't go here. Oh. I fell. Huh. I... So, like, it's good that you thought to jump there, because I would not have at all. Well, I noticed there was a jump before when I was, like, grabbing at the switches. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think we can go up there. So I can oh, sidle. But... Yeah. Wait, there's a chain. Yeah. Let... Oh, yeah. okay. Moving up in the world. How do you jump off? Um, I'm going to try pressing the jump button again. Oh. Oh, you can switch sides, yeah. yeah. And then jump. Oh. oh. So X, let go. Triangle is jump. Which kind of makes sense because it's like up. Mm -hmm. Triangle's in an up Triangle position. again. There we go. Oh, I can like, can I just like go right out the window? Oh no, there's pots. You didn't break the pots. Maybe, maybe I should have broken the pots. There might have been some money in there. Uh. 
and there's no music in the game, so everybody... At all? I, I don't know if at all, but I mean right now. Oh. Um, I, I really... Like, that's weird. I really liked... So this um, had a menu for the, for the collection that we're playing this on, and the music it had when you were hovering over Ica was really pretty. So I hope there's no... I hope there's more music like that. I was looking for, like, a sprint button, but he moves kind of fast enough, so... Yeah, he seems like he moves decently fast. I've never played it, but this makes me think of Rhyme. Yeah, when, when I first saw Rhyme, I thought it looked like an Ico kind of thing. It's a very tall tower. So it's like, you know, right off the bat, like, what is this tower? What is it for? Who am I? Why am I here? Existential dread! <laughs> Existential? Existential. Yeah, that's right. right. Okay. I was, um... I was chain. under arrest for, um, trying to rob a taco truck. It was a, uh, Viking-themed taco truck. This is my, like, Taco King Viking hat. But Vikings don't have horns. <sighs> Dang, you're right. That's, that's a, uh, common misconception. I mean, some of them probably had helmets with horns, but, like, I think the thing was those horns predated them by, like, several thousand years. Yeah. Like, I think they tra were traced back to, like, 3000 BC somewhere in, like, Mesopotamia or something. Like, in, like, a completely different area of the world. Well, not completely, but... Yeah, I think it's th that, like, comic strip, like, um, Hagar, I think it is, Hagar the Horrible, that started the whole thing with that, with horns on Vikings. Oh, huh. She's not covered in chocolate pudding anymore. No. All right, Somehow gotta... she's perfectly white. Get her down. Um, climb up again. Can you... Huh. You know, we oh. were kind of scared when she's black, but now that she's white, we're thinking wow. she shouldn't be in prison. That's terrible. I mean... <laughs> yeah. That's, that's so messed up. There's, a, there's some politics for you in this Let's Play. It's not wrong, <laughs> but it doesn't make me happy. <laughs> Where'd the lie, though? It doesn't make me happy. Uh, it's, it's just not... It's awful. And pull, pull the switch? And she just drops. <laughs> he did it! <laughs> She's dead. Game over. That's a really spiky cage. Yeah, they probably... Yeah, what's the point of those spikes? Like, what are they trying to keep from getting into it? Like, because the spikes would obviously be for, like, a purpose. Yeah. So, they would be to, like, dissuade something from attacking it or hurt something. But, like, with the size they are and how far away they're spaced, it would be, like, something big. Is there, like, a giant bird that comes in here sometimes? That would be a little too on the nose. Or on the beak. Because birds don't have noses. We were over at, um... Nick's house yesterday, and Nick has a bird named Lucy, and she's really pretty, but she didn't want to be held by anybody but Nick. But she wanted to be held 100% of the time. Yes. She would not She would not let Nick not hold her. She's cute. She's a pretty bird. I just wish I was more of a bird person. <laughs> bird person. I love bird person. Rip. Rest in peace, bird person. I... I would never take having a bird over dogs, but I think birds are kind of cool. I feel like... I have no problem with birds when they're not making noise. Yeah. I find them extremely annoying, it just because, like... And <laughs> they just scream at random intervals. Well, yeah, and it's not like it's like a dog bark, <laughs> yeah. where it's like, you know, not... It's like... <laughs> it's like a reaching, ear-piercing, like, it pulls you out of whatever you're thinking about. It is very, <laughs> like... Um, what's the word? Um, Even if they're sitting on your shoulder right next to your ear. Like, yeah, like, it's not as, like, jarring or it doesn't, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey. So, uh. Owls are cool, though. Owls are cool. I like watching birds. My aunt had birds. Um, I used to hang out with them when I was younger. I'm I've just really committed to the fact that I'm more of a dog person. Oh, yeah, me too. Dogs are the best animal. Cats are okay. I thought about getting a lizard. I thought of getting a ferret. Ferrets are cool. They're adorable. 
This kid falls down a lot. Yeah, he does. Oh, his stick's on fire. She's very white. She's like made of bloom. My sister just did like one of those Antrest ancestry things and the results were she's 99.9% .9 white and then 1.1% African. Huh. Uh, but we, she was just like, wow. I mean, I knew we were white, but I was not expecting <laughs> to be that white. I didn't white. think I'd be that right. They tried to sacrifice him because of his horns. Oh, wait, those aren't, like, on his head. Those are, like... I think he actually has horns. Huh. That's interesting. She's just like, sorry, dude, I don't speak that language. Yeah, she speaks weird shape language. Oh, she's gonna boop him on the snoot. <laughs> and that shadow's like, hey, baby, don't you talk to him. Get back here. Um, hey. Kick his ass! Oh, wait, there's a torch over there. Yeah! It, like, specifically showed me the torch. Get the fire and kick his ass. Because light beats shadow. Ah. Um. Oh. Oh, my torch went out. Uh-oh. That is there a flame? That seems bad, whatever's happening there. Beat it with a stick. Uh. No, don't jump. <laughs> I feel like this is bad. Oh. Did we just get a game over? Yep, I think we did. Wow. Uh, the one other thing I know about this game is that it's, like, puzzly, and it's almost entirely, like, escort mission, and I really wish I didn't fall right there. <laughs> I keep expecting X to be jumped. Oh, no, escort mission. Yeah, it's just one big escort mission. Oh, no. Um, but it's supposedly a good game, right? Yeah, um, well, well, I think it's the same thing as Shadow of the Colossus, that, like, even though most people say it's, like, a masterpiece and it's very artistic and everything, like, it does a lot of things that are more, it, it's good because it's really impactful, not necessarily because it plays well, you know? We gotta figure out what button is hit the stick. Um, yeah, no. Square? Figure it out now. Yeah, okay. Okay, but I, lo I lost yeah, my flame. Yeah, so we're gonna flame. try again. Um, is there something else in the room I can no, light it, it with? No, I'm pretty sure... It's weird that it goes out that fast. I'm pretty positive that that was your one chance. Yeah. It, like, lets off a shockwave, too. Okay, third time's a charm. And this time I'm going to not have to climb back up. This seems like a thing. It lets me skip the cutscene at least. Okay, so it. if I, it goes out when I swing it. Oh. Oh, oh! I can just like hit him the heck with the stick. Beat him. Okay. For some reason, I just assumed it had to be on fire. Yeah, I could. I get that. Can okay. I, like, pick her up. Um, maybe. Spam buttons. <laughs> I can. Jump on her. Should probably buy her a drink first. Any of the shoulder buttons work? Oh, yeah. Uh, that was R1. Take the stick. Okay. Um, Can you interact with her at all? Uh, okay, R2 is like camera. R1? Oh, oh, I took her hand. Okay. Oh, her running animation is really weird. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at you're just like yanking. Hey, come on, <laughs> <over> here. <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh, that's weird. And she's a door opener. Well, it's better than relying on an AI to follow you. That actually, I feel like, might alleviate a lot of the problems of fetch missions, is being able to physically pull the other person. Yeah. So that actually is. I just want to see if there's... For a game this old, I'm surprised they did that, because there's a lot of games that have not figured that out. Okay, if I tap it while I'm away from her, though, she walks towards me. Oh, so, like, getting up places, you might need to get her to come up herself. Um, yeah, I'll see what she does. Yeah, she can figure that out. Okay. You can just rip her around everywhere else. Yeah. 
<laughs> this is game AI, so we have to figure out how smart she is. Oh, I know. When I start playing, I'm just gonna, I'm just literally gonna grab her hand and pull her with me the entire way. <laughs> it seems faster doing that too. So. Oh look, the magical couch. Is that a save couch? Uh, maybe. Hey, wanna take a load off here? Hey, baby. Hey. Yeah. Couch time. It We're gonna is get some a stone, save stone couch. tablets and chill. The, oh, okay. We got some music. This is a really weird uh, save so, screen to me. Why? I don't know. Something about it just does not mesh with the style of this game. Yeah, it is a little weird. There we go. Always takes a while doing the first creating a new save file. Old bridge. All right, let's resume it. Alright, so let's, um... <laughs> it seems so violent, though. It just looks so strange with her, like, just her <laughs> running animation. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh god, oh god, oh, oh god. Oh. Good thing you were hanging on to her. Yeah, I guess so. Jeez. <laughs> so would she have just fallen to her death if I wasn't doing that? Probably. But no, you probably could have hit a button to try and save her. So I can already kind of see where where this is going. It's gonna be like platforming puzzles of how to get the girl to the thing. Yeah, like it's gonna be like you're gonna need to like set stuff down for her. Yeah. Or whatever. That makes sense. Break the pots. Um, oh, you can't. Or can you throw it? Whoa. <laughs> And, like, he, like, it took him a lot of effort to pick yeah. the thing up, and then he was like, <laughs> just like, get out of here! Yeah. Oh, God, there's another thing. Okay, wait, so can you go beat that one, too? Yeah. Oh, there's two of them. Beat the one that's going after her. Okay, or it's, like, a bunch of them. At least they don't, like, attack her. They, like, try to take her away first. Oh, they no. got her. Wait. No. Wait. Okay, I can use R1 to pull her out, though. Oh, that's nice. Um... So stay near that thing. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Oh, do you just, like, keep spawning things, though? Oh, that does not sound like something I'd want to... I think he keeps spawning. I don't think the other ones do much to him. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you pick up a pot and place it down on top of the thing? Oh, no, it's gone. Um, well, those spidery don't things know. don't seem to be doing Yeah, they much. don't seem to do much, but keep an eye on them just in case. What if I push the box Lock over the spider thing? Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's going to keep the shadow things in there. And activate the staircase. Stairs activated. And hey, Google, turn on the stairs. Um, oh, oh, the button came up. It was I apologize okay. to those, if anyone who <laughs> has a Google Home. <laughs> they all just went like, what? <laughs> I don't understand. Um, is this anything over here? Actually, if the, I believe the Google, the Google Home, if you, if it doesn't have, if it, um, if it doesn't understand you, it just doesn't say anything. Well, I think we have to go up the stairs that we just activated. I know, I just want to see if... Can you put down? I will see. <laughs> He's struggling with that thing. It's very wobbly animation. You can. Oh, but it's oh, not heavy enough. You probably need, what's up top of the stairs, though? Yeah, okay. Um, Let's see. Um, a different room is up here. Alright, I'm just going to explore without her for a second. She just gets picked up and you know, game <laughs> over. You're gone. You spend the rest of your life in this prison. Okay, so this is like... It's kind of like big environments. Yeah. Interesting. Well then, I feel like I should probably 
have the girl with me, so... Try and get through that door first, and then see what... Or, yeah. wait, have her stand on the door on the plate, and then see if you can't go through it, see if there's anything over there. Yeah, that's a good plan. Oh, he's calling for her. Uh, yeah, because I was holding uh, R1. Alright. I don't think we have any sort of health bar. I think that's... Sh like, that shadow thing hit me before, and it stunned me, but... Yeah, wait, pull her, grab her, or, or yeah, or that. Okay, can you stand on this? Just pull her onto it. Oh. Or did you pull her with you? Yeah, you did. Yeah, okay. That's easier than I thought, but uh, that is... You can't go through that way. Yeah. Um. Oh, good, the button. Okay. So I think maybe the only thing is, like, you need both of them to get through those doors. I feel like there's a switch for the other, for the, yeah. I feel like there's a switch Am I sure I can't somewhere. pick these up? Yeah. Okay, so we'll go up the stairs and we'll do some more exploring of this prison castle next time. Until then, I'm Comic. I'm Pat. And uh, get ready for a new Puzzly Let's Play. Puzzly Let's Plays are always kind of scary because I know there's going to be things that I don't understand and the viewers are like, how could you not see it? Yeah. So, I hope you'll make lots of comments calling us idiots. I look forward to it. Please look forward to it. <laughs>